I'm Lorna Shaw and I'm a ruminant nutritionist with SEC Consulting. Today we're here at Balgay Farm uh, by kind permission of Ian Wilkinson where we're filming a video as part of a two-part series for the Farming for a Better Climate initiative. Uh, we've been running a trial through Farming for a Better Climate looking at improving beef efficiency using better use of data technology within the industry. Um, so today we're going to explore that a bit further and see what they've been doing at Balgay Farm. Hello, I'm Ian Wilkinson and I would just like to welcome you along to Balgay Farm on behalf of myself and INS Graham. Balgay is an arable farm of about 406 hectares and we farm sheep, beef and cereals. We've got two herds of cows uh, and that's what the share farming is about. Uh, one herd is myself and the other herd is INS Graham. My own herd is predominantly Hereford based, the breeding, pedigree and uh, commercial cows. And the Balgay herd itself is predominantly a short horn based herd with pedigrees and commercial. I also farm 450 ewes which we finish all the lambs and we take we take all the cattle through to finishing apart from some pedigree bulls that we sell and some pedigree heifers. My aims for both suckler herds are very much the same. We have a part of each herd is pedigreed and then the, the other part is commercial but the pedigree cows have to perform as commercial cows and our aims are to produce some pedigree bulls but take all the rest of the stock right through to being finished. Therefore we want to find the most efficient animals that we can to allow us to do that. Fertility is a big thing. Uh, we want the animals to be as fertile as we possibly can because if you don't have a calf you've got no, no profit. So. Well, we're trying to, our cows are quite big at the moment and they have been historically a bit on the, the large side and we're trying to uh, bring the cow size down a bit to make the cow more efficient. The difference between a smaller cow and a bigger cow uh, equates to a lot of feed just to maintain them and therefore if we can reduce the cow size that cow will be more efficient going forward. Our feeding system for the cows and, well, basically all the breeding stock is predominantly based on silage. Uh, we, can, we grow all our own silage on farm and we do all the work ourselves for the silage. The, the young stock and the finishing stock, we use uh, homegrown barley and homegrown beans. The barley's bruised and the beans are rolled and prop corned and then we formulate rations with uh, SAC and we just feed accordingly. We test all our silage and uh, Lorna makes up the rations for us. Our finishing stock, the males are housed their first winter and put on a store ration and over the summer they're intensively finished and we have them all finished and away by the time they're 18 months old and then we concentrate on the heifers which have been turned out to grass for their second summer and we'll try and get as many of them away off the grass as we can and then what's left will come in and they'll be finished on our silage and barley and beans ration. I was keen to change the automation of the, the data collection for weights, etc., because I was finding that to transfer that data from the process that we had before to our computers in the house was quite a task and it meant spending a lot of time in the office. Where now the system I've got, the weight is taken and it's put, it's just automatically uploaded onto the cloud based app that I have on my phone. So I now have the weights for all the cattle uh, anywhere I want on my phone and I don't have to go to the office to find them or take pieces of equipment from the, the crush to the office to download the information that's required. So, 
So it's just, it's all done and dusted whenever you leave the crush now. The weight data is useful uh, on kind of two counts. The first count would be that we need to supply weights for our pedigree animals to the societies so that they can, uh, so that they can do the EBVs. And secondly, and probably the most important one to me is the, the data on the, the growing cattle and the finishing cattle. If I've got regular weights and at two hand where I can get access to it really quickly, I can make decisions on what animals are ready to go and when they'll be ready to go. I can get a, a prediction uh, you know, for a date when those animals will hit the spec for, for going for a uh, slaughter. We were using a computer program on the desktop in the office and at the weigh scales we had a, a weigh head which had the animals uploaded into the weigh head and we'd record their weights as they came through but you had to manually input quite a bit of the information and then once you were finished weighing, we had to take the, the weigh head to the office, connect it up to the desktop, and then download the information into the, the program that we were using for our cattle records. But now I changed to an app uh, called Breeder, which is just, it's on my phone, it's on the computers in the office, and it's cloud-based, and we purchased a true test weighhead, uh, probably about one of the most basic true test weighheads there is, and it just Bluetooth connects to the EID stick reader and my phone, and all I do now is read the EID tag, and everything comes up on my phone, the weights and all the, the details of every animal. So you, you not only see the weight, of the animal, but you actually see the age, the date of birth, the breed, everything comes up on the screen. Uh, there and then, you press record, and that's the job done, all the information's there. And if you want to get special reports, you just go to your desktop and you can print off any report that you want. It definitely saves a lot of time, uh, the system we have now. We can weigh animals so much quicker because there's not the same time spent inputting data into the, the way head that we had before and also the time it saves in the office. I mean, I, now I don't need to do any weight recording in the office. It's all done at the crush. For selecting animals, you have, I would say, you have far more information in front of you now at the crush, which allows us to make decisions quicker while we're actually looking at the animal as well. If I was going to have any tips for anybody else that wanted to collect data, I would say do a little bit of research into what's out there and make it as automated and as easy as possible. Because the easier you make it, the more likely you are to use it and the more likely you are to get uh, the benefits of using it. You know, you're going you're gonna to make use of that data that you capture if it's easy to, to get. Therefore, look for an app that ties in with the hardware that you're using at the crush, uh, and it'll save you an awful lot of time. Today, we've been looking at the importance of taking weights of both cows and calves, um, comparing the calf weaning weight to the cow's weaning weight to get a cow efficiency figure, um, and how that aids the selection of animals going forward. Also, the continuous um, weighing of calves and how that improves our selection for feeding to improve efficiency and keep cattle going forward on farm. Um, this in turn helps us to be more environmentally efficient as well as production um, increasing production efficiency.